Hey everybody, welcome to another exciting haul edition of A Week in Geekdom. Geo here, and I am hoping you guys are safe and sound and ready to enjoy some haulage action. Yes, at the end of every month, I like to do a haul video of all the geeky stuff that I acquired. And if you want me to review any of them, as always, let me know in the comments section down below. So let's get started with uh, anime and manga. Actually, let's do manga first, because manga is cool. I've got a bunch of volumes here. Here is volume 24 of My Hero Academia, starting the villain's arc, if you will. We're like three manga volumes away from catching up to Japan, if I remember correctly, right? Twi or maybe two volumes. But still, this is looking pretty freaking fantastic, and I, I love My Hero Academia, and things are just heating up, and this volume is so amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. So yeah, volume 24 of that. Uh, here we have a Demon Slayer right there. Finally, if you uh, have been following my channel, all of these books were pre-ordered so long ago, but due to pandemic and then the whole uh, media mail uh, being delayed and, and different circumstances meant that I have been waiting for these books for two months now or something crazy like that. So I'm not even up to date with Demon Slayer. This is volume 12 accompanied by volume 13 but i don't have 14 with me so we'll probably see that at a later time uh the next haul i guess so yeah pretty excited to continue my journey through demon slayer and speaking of manga with the letter d here we have dr stone volume 11 and this series is just one of my favorites man i love it so much and the new stuff with them uh, doing something that I don't want to spoil in the last volume. Uh, it continues on into this one, and I'm so excited about it. Here we have some oversized manga, Beastars Volume 6. Really cool stuff. If you... Uh, I can't show you that because that's a spoiler. What can I show you here? This is a pretty spoiler-heavy um, volume. Yeah. All right, I can show you this. So... Beastars is fantastic. I, I my favorite book from last year, and if you've only watched the anime and if you're wondering where to continue after finishing the series, the first season, this is the volume you should get because the anime adapts up to the halfway point of this book. So yeah, volume six onwards, you're gonna be treated to some amazing things. So yeah, Beastars volume six. And I gotta give a shout out to uh, my friend, the Omnibus Collector himself, Riley, for hooking me up with uh, The Kingdom of the Gods. This is a zombie manhwa that inspired the Kingdom series, if I remember correctly, on Netflix, the live action stuff. But uh, basically this is uh, zombies and ancient rulers and... and warriors and stuff it looks pretty bloody i mean look at this the art on this looks fantastic and i can't wait i'm gonna try and read this uh extremely fast so that i can geek out over it uh with you guys the art is just really awesome in this book i'd love me some good zombies and this is right up my alley so here is the kingdom of the gods speaking of oversized and badass here is the fifth deluxe edition for Berserk. I, I've already read this because I own the whole series in the regular editions, but I've been slowly upgrading as these come along. So now we officially have the entire Golden Age arc in deluxe edition format, and that is uh, amazing, epic, and I cannot wait to get the rest of the series in Deluxe Edition. Volume 6 is scheduled for November, if I remember correctly, so we'll be done in no time. Here's a cool panel from the book. I tried to pick something out that won't spoil the story, just in case you are reading Berserk for the first time. This shouldn't be a spoiler whatsoever, so yeah, I'm pretty excited uh, to own this bad boy. And, and these Deluxe Editions, man, they're fantastic. I didn't get the Helsing one because uh, I, I have the Ultimate series and I've, I've loved that 
and I've read the story, so I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna upgrade because I already have the series, and I'm trying to avoid getting uh, or repeating things. Like I'm already doing that with Demon Slayer and My Hero Academia, where I have the anime and I have the manga. I'd rather use that valuable shelf space for uh, another deluxe edition manga or something further down the road or something like that. I don't know. But yeah, I, uh, the Helsing one looks fantastic as well. Who knows? Maybe in the near future I'll get it. We'll see. Let's move on to collected editions since we're talking books. Uh, leave anime for a little bit. Uh, this is something really cool and I gotta give a shout out to uh, Learman Condition because they put out a video on the Street Fighter books and I have been wanting to get into the Street Fighter books for a very long time. You saw volume one on the last haul and I ordered the rest of the classic, which is the first uh, volumes in the series. So here we have volume two hardcover right there. I got this from Mountain Man Comics, if I remember correctly, a local shop in Georgia. So yeah, they were kind enough to hook me up with this. That is really cool because I do believe you can still find them in stores, but online, uh, some people are kind of asking a little bit over cover price for this and I, I, I didn't want to overpay for these books. They're fantastic, don't get me wrong, but like, yeah, settle down guys. Don't, don't, don't flip <laughs> books like that. <laughs> so I got volume two, which looks really cool. And I got volume three. Unfortunately, I got stuck with a bad copy. Don't worry, this was sealed and it's, it's not the shop's fault, I think. I don't know, but uh, the spine's all messed up. As you can see right there, it's all torn up. You can still read the book just fine. I will do something about it to fix it. Or if you've got some suggestions, uh, let me know in the comment section. But <clears throat> I'm really excited to uh, go through this and make uh, I'm not gonna make a video on every single Street Fighter book because I did order a bunch of them uh, th These are the ones that happen to arrive first uh, For example, I am going to make a Street Fighter classics review and then I'll move on to the next series and, and group every volume together So it's not like an overabundant uh, uh, Catalog of Street Fighter videos because a lot of you don't really like watching volume twos on your YouTubes. You prefer volume one or a full series review, so I'm not gonna bore you with that. Finally, I have with me here Kaiju Max Deluxe Edition Volume 2. Uh, this is one of my favorite series. I made a video on the first volume if you want to check that out. My first impressions on Kaiju Max. Not the Deluxe Edition, but the trade paperback. Just know that it keeps getting better and better after that. So, I don't know, maybe eventually I'll do a video like a full series review on what I've read so far with Kaiju Max with Volume 1 and Volume 2, or I guess this is Season 2, or something like that. But yeah, this book is amazing. It's just a tiny little bit taller than an Absolute, and it is wonderful. Think Oz, but with Kaiju in a prison. Yeah, it's kind of like that. It's really awesome. The art is fantastic, and there's so many details and callbacks to uh, Toho films and Super Sentai, all that fun stuff. That if you like that stuff, you're you're right at home with this. Kaiju Max is fantastic, guys. You got to pick it up. Plus, to own a, a lime green book like this is pretty bitchin', I gotta say. All right, now we're gonna move on to Blu-rays. We're gonna start with anime and then transition into live action stuff. So first, here we have Promare on Blu-ray from G Kids. I made a review on my channel here uh, talking about Promare, if you want to check that out. Fantastic, wonderful film. I love everything Trigger does, and this movie was just breathtakingly badass. I wanted to get the collector's edition at first, but, I mean, thinking it over, there's so much stuff coming out. You gotta be wise with what you're getting. And I mostly wanted that collector's for the soundtrack, but I already have the soundtrack digitally, and you can check it out on I think it's on one of the streaming Spotify or something, but you can listen to it or just regular YouTube. So it's not a huge deal breaker. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get this. Uh, plus it was going for really cheap money on uh, third-party websites. So yeah, Promare, fantastic. 
Uh, I made a video unboxing on this. This is the first half of Demon Slayer, the Aniplex CD. Uh, uh, did I say CD? I meant Blu-ray. Jesus, uh, I was thinking about the soundtrack um, for Promare. A lot of you left some really awesome comments because I knew you were going to be shocked at this box with the pricing and all that stuff. And I agree 100%. I'm not, I'm not angry at all. Uh, I actually did not want to make that video because of it. But I said, you know what? To hell with it. I wanted to highlight it anyway because it's a pretty looking uh, Blu-ray set anyways. But yeah, <laughs> the love affair with... Um, the love and hate relationship, I should say, with Aniplex continues. So there you go. Uh, Demon Slayer Volume 1. Volume 2 comes out in November, so that's going to be exciting. Uh, part 2 of my uh, appreciation for my friend Riley Moore and hooking me up with some cool things. This was actually a gift. He got this. He wasn't going to see it, and I already had the first part. He found out I had the first part. I'm like, oh, cool, I'll send it to you so you can complete the set. And that is A Comic Got Kill Volume 2. Uh, it's, it came with the DVDs on another case and a third case for the soundtrack. But I'm just showing you this, the later half of the anime series. So now I have the full series on Blu-ray and that is really cool. So thank you, man. Moving on to Western animation, here we have a copy of Superman Red Sun. And with this video, I'm announcing that I am ending my collection of DC animated movies unless they adapt a really cool storyline that I like from comics. Uh, there's so many of them, and they ended their movie original universe, so now they're just going to do random stories. I, I'm kind of done. <laughs> It, it was it was awesome, and maybe I'll do a video one day summarizing the whole thing or reviewing the whole movie universe, but I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Red Sun uh, from DC Comics, or Warner Brothers Animation, I should say. And transitioning into live action, let's keep the DC train rolling. I didn't have this when it first came out, so I picked up a 4K copy of Joker. Looks really fantastic. I, I really like this movie, and it was really awesome to revisit the film in 4K. And finally, I got this for Dirt Cheap, one of my favorite movies of 2019, and that was The Lighthouse. I think I got this for like $9 or something crazy. And just you watch. There's no 4K release of this, and I don't think they'll do a 4K anytime soon, but just you watch. Now that I have this, they'll announce a freaking 4K. Fantastic. Finally, let's talk video games. Um, this is kind of funny. I was really excited to show you guys the Paper Mario game for Switch. Unfortunately, I ordered that through GameStop, and they had the fantastic idea to separate their, um, what do you call it, the bonus item that you get, the freebie uh, collector's thing. They shipped it out separately from the game, and both items fit in a regular bubble mailer, so I really don't understand the logic behind that. I'm still waiting for the game. It, it hasn't arrived, but I did get the bonus item, which is the Paper Mario, the Origami King pin set right there. So this was exclusive to... is that even focusing? There we go. Uh, this was exclusive to GameStop if you pre-ordered the game, and that's the only... Thing. I don't use GameStop at all. I don't care about them. I just wanted the pins for some reason, and I'm like, all right, I'll order it through them. Now I know better, and not to uh, order stuff from GameStop, because they ship things uh, sporadically. I'm still waiting for the freaking game. Anyways, um, another... Let's do more Switch games, because there's a ton here. Uh, another game I picked up is Catherine Full Body for the Switch, and what's cool about this is that I have the original PlayStation 3 version, which I never got to play, and if you want to find out why, there is a second channel that you can check out. It's called Geo's Arcade. It is my new YouTube channel dedicated to all things video game, and I started posting random videos. I'm still trying to get all the equipment setups and all the things I need to start making video game related content on that channel. So I'm just testing the waters, posting random videos. And one of them was about my PlayStation collection. In that collection, I talked about Catherine and uh, and why I could not finish 
all the PlayStation 3 games in my collection because I have quite a few of them. So if you're into that kind of stuff and you want to hear me talk about video games, check out Geo's Arcade here on YouTube. Uh, it's mostly going to be about retro games and maybe do Switch reviews and stuff like that. I, I don't know. I, it's still undecided, the future for that channel, but I'm really excited to jump on that. But anyways, Catherine Fullbody. This game is a lot of fun. I love a good puzzle game. And if you ordered it through, I think, every single retailer, it comes with a keychain of the sheep. So that's really cool. This is one of the naughtiest Switch games. Although there are a couple, like the Sakura pinball thing. Next up, something I've always wanted to play and I never got a chance to on the previous console generations and I finally got the game. It is Bayonetta. Uh, although it's Bayonetta 2, it does include the code for Bayonetta 1. I found it um, sealed, which is rare because everybody sells it <laughs> with the code already redeemed. So you're just buying volume two. Or game number two but yeah it was sealed so I was able to get uh, both games so I'm really excited about that got some Bayonetta action and even though I already own a couple limited run games this was my first time ordering through their website which was interesting because when I sh when they shipped the game they actually messed up the address and I was scared that it was not gonna arrive but it did so yeah but still Limited run games, uh, even though I don't like the fans' uh, mentality when it comes to that company, I do like the idea of a limited run for a certain game. Because you can get it digitally, but you can also do the physical release. So here is Streets of Rage 4, fantastic beat em up series that I can't wait to dive into this. And for no cost at all, they give you a soundtrack and not to mention that the game already comes with the limited card if you like collecting cards and it has an instruction booklet which is just fantastic for the price of what 30 something dollars was it you can't you can't beat that i mean come on <laughs> I mean, look at look at freaking uh, Nintendo with Paper Mario I, 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 and GameStop. I only got this thing, and it, I didn't even get the freaking game. Come on! You also get one of these newspaper things, but I'm, uh, that's more about the info on the company and stuff. Uh, anyways, what else did I get? Oh, one more Switch game. That is the Wonderful 101 Remastered Edition. Really excited about this. I never played the original, so I'm excited to check out the remastered switch port and uh finally two more video games for you guys i mentioned last video that i was getting into the gears franchise with my xbox so yeah i got gears of war 4 with the code for the previous game so i was able to download 2 3 and uh judgment so yeah really excited about that gears of war 4 all i need is gears 5 i guess and the hot title that everybody's talking about, Ghost of Tsushima. Here is the launch edition, the basic edition. I was going to get the collectors, but it was a little bit too out of my price range. Is that a thing? I don't know. It was a little bit pricey and all I wanted was the mask. I didn't care for any of the extras, so it'd be kind of a, of a waste. So I got the game instead. Um, so yeah, uh, that is that's the haul guys that was a lot of stuff hopefully you enjoyed that and again if you want me to review any of the items that i talked about except the movies except the live action stuff because i don't do that on the channel but everything else the manga the books all that stuff let me know in the comment section down below thank you everybody for tuning in thank you for liking commenting subscribing and being a part of a Week in Geekdom. It really does mean a whole lot. There's also a merch link down below for some Week in Geekdom shirts if you're interested. Check out Geo's Arcade if you want to hear me talk about video games. And that's about it. Uh, as of this video, stay tuned for more Fable Fridays and uh, keep watching the channel for whatever video book review comes out next after this. So, thank you so much. I've got to go. I will catch all of you on our next video.